learned about normal distributions and the normal probability distribution, also known as the density curve. This is important to know because every scientific research study that uses the scientific method at some point will use some sort of distribution to test the statistical significance of the results in their study. So what we'll learn today about the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule of a normal distribution. And if we have time, we'll learn about positively skewed distributions and negatively skewed distributions. So we'll start first with the normal distribution. Draw here, here's the x-axis. And the curve, a normal probability distribution will look something like this. A symmetrical upside down parabola, or it kind of looks bell-shaped, if you remember from your history class. This looks similar to like the Liberty Bell. We prior to last lecture we learned about mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. So for a normal distribution, the mean is perfectly centered in the distribution. It split the distribution right in half, 50 and 50 on each side. Mean, and also since it's perfectly symmetrical, the median will also be right the same as the mean. Mean's also known as sigma, I mean mu, excuse me. Then standard deviation, we learned about that last class, also known as sigma. So with a normal distribution, there is usually three, we, in our field we only go out to three standard deviations from the mean on a normal distribution. So this is where the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule comes into play. So the first one, 68, is one standard deviation plus or minus the mean in each direction. And this separates, if we draw a line up, this demarks the whole distribution of the normal curve to have 68% of the area that comes under this curve. Next is two standard deviations plus or minus the mean, which is the 95% rule. So if we draw this line up, this whole area under the curve equals 95%. The next one is three standard devi deviations plus or minus the mean. Three. This takes up 99.7% of the total area under the curve. This also is important. It keeps this curve never touches the x axis, so it keeps going on until infinity. But we usually only go out to three standard deviations, plus or minus the mean. This is important. If you ever read like a research study, you'll probably hear them mention or read them mention that we are 95% confident that these results are statistically significant. That they mean that they're 95% sure that the results that they're finding is not due to finding them by chance alone. So this is important because we don't just guess in science. You know, it's, we apply the scientific method and this is the main form that we use. So next we'll go into learning about positively skewed and negatively skewed distributions. First, we'll start with the positively skewed distribution. This is Similar to the normal distribution, but I have a longer tail that goes up farther up the x-axis, so the data is more skewed in the positive direction. So with a positively skewed data, the, unlike the normal distribution, the mean and the median are not the same. So in positively skewed, the median will be back here, median. And then the mean will be in the front or farther up the x-axis because there's larger numbers up here pulling the average up higher. 
And for negatively skewed, it's just 